to check out some design equations. We're going to use them for dimension of equipment. Essentially, the distance between parts. We're going to study parts with the name, technical names, height, length, baffle, size, and so on. Agitation requirements and, more importantly, power. So, you gotta learn this. Not by heart, but at least just the basics. The total height of the tank. Then we have this H, which is this size of the shaft right here. Then we have the difference in which we start actually the blade here. And when we finish the blade, the, dis the distance between the blade and the bottom. The diameter of the tank, the diameter of the impeller the size between impellers and well yeah essentially the diameter of the shaft those are the basics they are also well, these are this is a more uh, simpler way to see j is baffle size how long should the baffle be what else we have the height of the tank which is essentially from the fluid top to the bottom of the tank we have the diameter of the impeller which is DA and this is very important is the whole diameter E divided by C is the relationship between free height which is this E and this C well we're going to see that later then we have DT which is the diameter of the tank L is the length of the impeller so for example this size instead of the diameter of the impeller we have just the, this size and W is the impeller height. Once again, we're talking about impeller height, not shaft height. What else do we have here? Well, we have the motor, baffle size, S, and C, this relationship. I told you E divided by C. Where is it? E is this number here. C is this number here. So that ratio is very important. J, I told you, is the size of the baffle. L is the size of the propeller and W is the diameter of the propeller or impeller height. So once you know the basics you can actually learn the typical proportions recommended for a agitation tank. For example, Yo guys, you want to learn a little bit on the mechanical energy equation, how to get that equation, well, go and check out block number one, you will be able to have a little review on basics before actually understanding why we need the mechanical energy equation, why is there kinetic energy, pressure head, potential head, what's inlet and outlet work, and a little bit introduction to friction loss, and eventually some applications or common applications of the mechanical energy equation. The diameter of the impeller, this one right here, divided by the total diameter should be about one third. So we have one third, one third, and one third. Typical ratio. E divided by dt, where is E? You need to go back here, where is it? Here's E. The height between the propeller and the bottom divided by the diameter of the tank, you have it right here. Also must be one third. Oh, this one is very interesting. It's not a must, but it's between height and diameter. It must be one, and this model must give you a, such a form like a cube. So many will tell you it's you can even have greater height than the diameter. So, for example, two meters height, one meter diameter. That depends, of course, on the application and safety issues. W or the height of the diameter versus the diameter impeller. Uh, J is the size of the baffle versus the total diameter. Must be ratio 1 to 12. So actually you have 1 to 12 here, 1 to 12 here, and you should have 10 to 12 here. And the L, let me show you. L is here. And diameter of the impeller is here, so the ratio must be 1 to 4. And 
number of baffles recommended are between four and no more than eight. So if you add more than eight, is exaggeration. You don't need more. Uh, the number of impeller blades, that's very important, blades is the amount of these blades right here, are between 4 and 16, you're not going to find more, maybe you find it, but for very special occasion or process. Six between, between 6 and 8 is the most common operation, so expect 6 blades or maximum 8 blades. If you have no idea, choose 6, 4 baffles and these type of ratio. So probably you're going to have the diameter here and you will recommend one height or you will start recommending with respect of one diameter. The impeller equations, well, they should be very similar to those of the centrifugal pumps. We're going to check them out, no worries, but those are the basic design equations needed for the agitation this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you are for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.